My name is Dick Head, private detective. I had just gotten down to the office that morning and taking a few notes as I typically do when suddenly I got a call and a case presented itself. Ring! Ring! The lady said her name was Minnie Forbush and it appears her ruby crusted lighter had gone missing. Oh, my lighter's been stolen. I need your help. I was quite excited since this was the first case since the incident. I was accused of beating the eggs and Would you believe? whipping the cream. You pervert! It was all over the papers. Oh, wait a minute. I didn't mean to show this one. Luckily, I got off lightly. Being a correspondent on Fox News has its advantages. So I started doing a little snooping. I kept my eye on the prize. I looked high and low for that lighter all about town. Came up with a few fingerprints that didn't seem to match the database. I felt like a mannequin in a hat shop. Or perhaps a moth in an empty drawer. But then a break at a local pawn shop that I went into. A man had just tried to fence a ruby lighter. He had just split. Yes, who else could it be? But Banana Man. It had to be him. He's the only yellow man I know. But Banana Man took off before I could get a hold of him to ask a few questions. Turns out it wasn't him, though. He had an alibi. Ironclad. But have you ever seen a banana on a green machine? Quite a sight. Could it be something as simple as my dog picking it up off the floor? I got away with it. For those veteran kids. Turns out the lighter turned up in the lady's bra strap. <laughs> After all that work, she didn't even pay me. Oh well. That's the way the cookie crumbles in the day of the life of the head detective. Tune in next time for the case of the missing lantern. These cases are boring. No shit, Sherlock. Oh, wait, I don't want to give you that much credit. I mean, dick.